Michel Roux and welcome to my restaurant, Le Gavroche Restaurant in the heart of London. This is the library, my little private dining room in the heart of the restaurant. In many ways, I think it's the heartbeat of the restaurant. It's where I practice dishes, where I do tastings, I use it as an office, and then lunchtime and dinner time, it turns into the most beautiful private dining room. The restaurant was founded in 1967 by my father and uncle, and uh, I took over in the early 90s. And we've been in Mayfair since 1981. Um, my father has more or less retired. Uh, he's getting to the age of where he just comes in for a free lunch every now and then. And to be honest, I don't blame him. My style of cuisine is very French and it's based on the classics. However, it has evolved over the years and I do feel that my interpretation of French uh, cuisine is far lighter than my father's interpretation, which was laden with fat, lots of cream and lots of butter. A normal day at Le Gavroche starts at around eight o'clock when the first staff come in and uh, start prepping the work. So checking the goods that come in, the deliveries, uh, and all the polishing of cutlery, polishing of glasses, laying the tables. And there's an incredible amount of work that goes in to making the restaurant ready for the customers to arrive at lunchtime. From cleaners to barmen, from sommelier to apprentice in the kitchen, we employ nearly 70 staff. That's what it takes to deliver excellence. And every single member of staff is important. Be it the cleaner making sure that the pots and pans are clean, uh, to the sommelier making sure that the wine is delivered uh, with a plomb and served at the right temperature. And of course, all that hard work that goes in behind the scenes. So prepping all the food, uh, from peeling the carrots to polishing the glasses. All of that, that little detail is important. Wherever possible, I buy British ingredients. And for example, our seafood comes from the west coast of Scotland. Beautiful scallops that are alive and still tromping away there and the lobsters are, are still pinching away. So it's, it's wonderful as a chef uh, to see these great ingredients coming into the kitchen early in the morning. Some of our suppliers have been working with us for more than 30 years and uh, indeed their businesses have been handed down from father to son. And uh, so it, it, it's something very special. I feel loyal to them and they feel very loyal to us and uh, I think it's uh, reciprocal and it works really well as long as the goods are perfect and uh, you know that's the only criteria. Everything that comes into the kitchen has to be perfect. Hard at work on the butcher's block, Chef Rachel, Chef Monica, beautiful piece of venison. Lovely, isn't it? That is lovely. Hard work. Pork belly. Pork Bacon. For bacon, pork belly for our own bacon. So, Emmanuel, my right hand man for the front of house, general manager of Le Gavroche, but you've been with us a long time now. Oh, yes, chef. Um, I work for Le Gavroche since 1998. So, okay. I started Gavroche as a, a commie, commie waiter, kind of trays, the, the plates, <laughs> and uh, move all the way up to the general manager now. So, thank you. <laughs> yeah, well, it's well deserved, and, and you look after the customers uh, with great aplomb. And, uh, and, and with such, such great style. And whether it's you know, royalty or regular customers, TV personalities, or somebody who's just saved up for that very special occasion, everybody gets treated the same. Exactly, everybody is the same. We look after them as the, the way it should be. I mean, people break into kitty sometimes just for coming at Le Gavroche. Mm. And we do not, we're not allowed to disappoint. Customers don't just come to Gavroche for great food. They come here for a whole experience. So. Great service, of course, a buzz, an atmosphere, uh, and, and beautiful setting. So it's, it's the complete package. It's an experience. It's, uh, we're selling dreams, more or less. Um, we're selling dreams. Obviously, we're always booked here. We're, we're booked far ahead in advance, and uh, it, it, it's very difficult for people to get a table here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We got sold out very quickly every morning, so when I release a date, uh, Half an hour later, we sold out. We got only 20 tables. Mm -hmm. But please, please give us a call last minute. We always get cancellations. So basically, the day before, a, a quick call, check, double check if something is available, it may pay off. So this is David, the sommelier at Le Gavroche, who's been with us a long, long time, and uh, we're in your domain. Yes, here we're in the daily cellar. So our daily cellar holds about two and a half thousand bottles. So one bottle of each from our wine list, and which is only a tenth of what we hold on the premises. Yeah, it's unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, and, and so many bottles here. I mean, there are some real treasures here. I mean, let me just pick one out and see. What, what have we got here? I promise I won't drop it. Oh, what have I won? I've won a bottle of Latash. 
Lucky me. Lucky you, chef. Let me compete with you. <laughs> oh, what about... What should I have? It? Oh, oh look at that. Petrus. Petrus 70. Oh, gosh. Two of the most expensive bottles. How much would the Petrus be? This is about 5,000 pound a bottle. And my Latash? It's a bit less. <laughs> <laughs> But, I mean, seriously, I mean, seriously, we, there are some great, great vintages and some very expensive wines on our wine list, but we've also got some treasures at about 30 pounds a bottle. Yes, I mean, we've got some, I mean, Van de Pays, some wine from Languedoc. I mean, mm. we designed our own cuvee here, Le Gavroche Languedoc, which is absolutely delicious. So, um, I mean, it's only a fraction of price, but maybe the same amount of pleasure when you drink it. Absolutely, and that, that's the most important thing, and, and that's the, the, the job of the sommelier. Exactly, we have to find these little treasures, these little gems hidden in certain region, and just make our customer, you know, discovering them. Mm, they discover them, and, and you will point them in the right direction. You see what they're eating, and you can help them to, to get the right choice yes, of wine. I mean, we, we, we help them any budget, they shouldn't be shy. We're here to just to guide them along the, the journey here. So no nasty surprises when they get the bill? I hope not. No, no, no. Not in here. <laughs> so here's the team, and we can't wait to welcome you to Le Gavroche. Hey!